Hi everyone! This is my first uh, tutorial in English. Uh, I decided to do in English because um, I think there's not very good videos about um, stage makeup for ballet. So today I have my, my performance, so I decided to uh, record it so you can see how I'm getting ready for it. I'm gonna start with foundation. I applied MAC Moisture Blend in NC25. I picked this foundation because it has pretty good coverage. I also apply it with the sponge at Beauty Blender. I think it makes a more uh, flawless coverage. Don't forget to apply it along your hairline, everywhere, and behind your ears, and along your neck. Then I apply the eyeshadow base. I picked the one from NARS because it's the best I have. It's really important to put one so you make sure that your shadows uh, stay in place throughout the day. Then I applied a MAC Pro Longwear Concealer. It's a really good concealer. I still applied it with my um, Beauty Blender under my eye and to uh, conceal any blemishes that I have also. Now I'm going to apply um, a setting powder. This is a Mineralized Skin Finish Natural by MAC. This is really going to set the foundation and the concealer in place so it doesn't move during the big day ahead of me. We're now going to start the eye makeup by applying a white base on your lids. I went ahead and applied it on uh, the inside of the eye, um, the first quarter, and just under my brows. Next, I did the cut crease using a brown pencil. This is uh, coffee from Annabelle. I traced a line just above the eye when I looked in front of me, so you can still see it when your eye is open. So that's that's the cut crease and then with the uh, angle brush I took a very very dark brown which we're going to see in a second this is denser and the dark from Max this is a limited edition but whatever dark brown you have and I went over the pencil and I smudged it upwards Now with the lighter brown, this is a color from Inglet. This is a matte brown, the number 327. And I went and blend, blended the brown a little better, just to make a tr really smooth transition. Make sure you don't go below the, la the line you traced with a pencil to keep it really neat and clean. Now with the skin tone color, it's just slightly lighter than my natural skin color. It's also from Inglet number 330. I'm just going to highlight my brows and um, just be careful you don't go over the brown. You just want to preserve the gradient so it's nice, nice and smooth. Then I'm going to go and um, do my, my lid now. So I used a, a beige color that is slightly frosted. This is from the balm. I actually uh, used it wet. I think it just uh, holds on better, but it's not all shadows that let you wet the shadow. So I just went and uh, put it all over my lid. 
up to the cut crease. Just make sure you don't go over the, the crease with that color. You just want to keep it really clean. Then with the gel liner, this is Black Track uh, from MAC. And um, a liner brush like this one, an angled one is just easier. And when and traced a line right along my lashes and did a small wing that is meeting with the cut crease. Now with a black, uh, sorry, brown pencil, the same that I used earlier, I'm going to trace under my eyes along the lower lashes. It's sort of a straight line that you extend. It, it's going to really open the eye. I'm crying a little bit. Stick the finger, uh, the finger, the pen in my eye. So I'm going to do both sides. It's actually really easy. You just have to um, practice maybe a little bit. And then I'm going to go over it with the brown shadows. This is number 327 from Ingla again. It's, re it's a matte color. By adding powder over top of the liner, I'm just ensuring like it's really going to stay all day. It's not going to move. With a white pencil, this is from Sephora. I'm putting some white outside of my eyes and the and in the inner rim of the eye. Now I'm gonna put some mascara. This is Lash Blast Volume, the waterproof formula. It's is in the, the color very black. Now I'm going to do my brows um, using a color from Glad number 342. Sorry, it's backwards. I'm going to turn it in a second, I think. Here you go. Now you can see the number. So this is a matte shadow. It's slightly darker than my uh, natural hair color, but it's going to work uh, for stage makeup because you want to really enhance your features. Finally, we're going to put some lashes that's from Ardell, the number 120. Uh, lashes are really important for stage makeup. They make your, eye really, your eyes really big. So uh, don't skip that step. I'm now going to apply some bronzer to do some contouring. This is from Tarte, uh, this bronzer. So I'm going to contour under my cheeks, under my jawline, and along my hairline just to make my face look a little more multidimensional. Otherwise, it looks a bit flat. And now I'm going to put some blush. This is from Makeup Forever number 99. It, it's a very red, uh, berry color blush that stands out. So I'm going to apply that generously. If you think it's too much, then that's probably the right amount that you need to put on. It's finally time to put uh, some lip liner and do the lips. So this is a cherry color from Annabelle, just a red uh, lip liner. Um, I put some lip liner to make sure the lip stick stays on it also gives a canvas uh, to work the lipstick on it's just easier that way
I'm going to apply some red lipstick. This is number 42 by Makeup Forever at, from the Rouge Artiste Intense. And I'm just going to apply it right from the stick. Um, it can be easier with a lip brush, but uh, since the lipstick is kind of new, it's easy to apply. I'm going to blot with a uh, tissue uh, that helps the lipstick to stay much better. And then I apply a powder on top, again, to really set the lipstick in place. And I'm just going to add another layer on top, which I'm going to blot again after to remove any shine because I want my lips to look really matte. Thank you so much for watching this tutorial. I hope you liked it and give a thumbs up if you did. Bye!